So today we released our position sizing tool and we're going to give you a quick walkthrough and show you some really slick stuff that will make trading consistently so much easier. Okay, so keeping your risk consistent is something that many traders strive to, to aim for. You might have heard people say risk 1% or 2% on each trade. Okay, so what is 1% of a $10,000 account? It's $100, right? But now you're going to have to figure out how do you break that $100 down from your entry point to your stop, right? When you take into account the spread, the pip value or the tick value, the currency of the account, whether it's a cross pair or anything else that could have affected the, the bid and the ask, the spreads, like what is a hundred dollars? Okay, so it's not so simple to say one pip is one tick or one tick is equivalent to X dollars. Save your brain cells, check this out. All I'm gonna do is click on the pencil. I'm gonna go down to the XT position tool, which is an add-on, and then I'm gonna select my entry and stop. It kind of looks like a risk versus reward tool, right? The difference you should be able to see right away are multiple targets. But let's right click and hit the sync with tracker. You'll notice a ton of new details pop up in an XABCD positioning tool window. Here we can select how much of the trade we want to risk. Now, if you're trading, you're probably going to want to weight some positions heavier and lighter for others. So I'm going to change this to a 0.75%. It's going to figure out what 0.75% is based on the account in the top right. Now, say you're using an account outside of NinjaTrader with a different broker, and we'll call that broker XYZ. Okay, so say you're trading an account with XYZ, that's $2,500. You can create a demo account inside of NinjaTrader, that's $2,500 as well. And that way you can also figure out what the percentage is of your position that you should be using. You can also change that value as you need to in order to calculate your new position sizes. Now, if you're using a demo account or you're using a live account connected with your NT8, it's just going to pull the values in for you and do the calculations. It's very very easy as it all happens behind the scenes. So calculations are reported in units as some brokers use quantity of unit numbers. Other brokers use like standard lots, micro lots, mini lots. So that's what that is there. Uh, targets are also there so that you can then style the tool based off your own risk versus reward levels. And you can also add on or remove targets as needed based off of risk versus reward levels. So let's go through some examples and we'll do it on futures, Forex and stock markets so you can see how this works. If you want to get your copy, head over to the position sizing page and take advantage of that offer. The tool will save you tons of time and save your, your brain cells so that you can use them for other things. And let's face it, there is a huge calculation that goes on around these numbers and doing it consistently the same time without human error is at best tedious to the point where many of you are probably not even doing it, even though you know that you should. So it's a much easier way to get things done. Any questions, let me know below. Don't forget to whack that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button as well. 
always happy to answer any questions that you might have. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to get that free price line and news indicator tool as well. And we'll see you guys soon.